all right. So I've been using the Android 12 software in its preliminary stage for some time now. And in this video, I'm going to share with you some essential tips and tricks. Also, some major changes that made the Android 12 to be different from Android 11. Although there is side-by-side -side comparison video between the Android 11 and Android 12 that is linked below in the description, so you can go and check it out. However, in this video, I'm going to show you the new features that the Android 12 is bringing so you get to know what and what to expect by the time the full version drops in August. Now, the first change here is the top menu. When you swipe down, the icon snaps. The changes are easily noticed, but most importantly are the efficiency and relatability. You can hold and drag to add titles or to remove titles. So you can easily edit the top menu to make it more user friendly. Secondly, at the top menu there's a feature called Extra Team. When your phone is already in dark theme or in dark mode, you can make it even dimmer by clicking the Extra Team. This is a feature that is very suitable at night for your eyes and it saves more battery life. Also, the volume button got some changes. It is bigger now than when compared to how tiny it was in Android 11. Now, let me show you more interesting features. Now, in settings, you will notice all the icons are bigger than what you get on Android 11. And as you are scrolling, you will notice a sparkling that shines, but you only notice the sparkling when it is on dark mode. So if you change this to light mode, you want to notice the sparkling. Another of my favorite feature is that the, the fact that it brings back the multi-user option. This feature allows you to share your phone by, add, by adding new users. Each user has personal space in your phone. So there is more privacy because every user gets its own application, its own settings, its own gallery, and everything just private and personal. This is kind of similar to what Xiaomi calls second space in their smartphones. Lastly, the security drain pattern got broader than what we had on Android 11. Even the digital time by default is broader and bigger as well. The Google search also got more transparent and convenient as the newsfeed icons and titles got reduced to a minimal level. But for now, the professional advice I will give is that don't upgrade to Android 12 yet. Because what's available at the moment is that it is at preliminary stage with many bugs that need to be fixed by Google. So this version is for testing. By August, you get a full version and a go ahead to download and install the Android 12 on your smartphone will come from my HD. And okay, if you enjoyed this video, tell me uh, which of the feature you love more or you look forward to have on a smartphone when the Android 12 is fully developed by August, you can drop in the comment section and also remember to hit the subscribe button and turn on the post bell because follow me on social media where I drop more tech talk and uh, have more on one uh, tech uh, smartphone links with you guys. You can uh, follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook at my I will link it below in the description. Alright, thanks for watching. I will see you around in my next one.